This AJN Network video is brought to you by Walter Stewart's Market. On the campus of Fairfield Ludlow High School, this is the AJN Network's 2017 Spring Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito sitting alongside the softball captains here for the Falcons. They are Megan Suchman, Nini Capellas, and Britt Romero. Girls, thank you so much for taking time with us today. Megan, let me start with you being named a captain heading into this season. What did that mean to you? Um, it was really special, obviously. Like We have a great group of seniors and a great group of girls, and kind of being uh, asked to lead them and um, just be kind of like a team player and you know, it's it's special. It's a, it's a special group of girls, and to be able to lead them is pretty cool. Uh, and Nini, you guys had a little bit of a run in the state tournament last year. You bring back a lot of experience to this team. What are the expectations for the squad heading into the year? I definitely think like last year's team was very talented as well, but this year's team we have a lot of freshmen who have really like brought and shown us that they have a lot of heart in the game. So I think this year we're looking to make it all the way. Now, Britt, one season under your belt, for, uh, one game under your belt for already this season. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to re-say that question, Eric, because that was all over the place. My bad. Britt, you guys have played one game already this season. Who impressed you in that outing, and what worked for the team in that game? Um, I think everybody really like played their played a role in the uh, in the game on Monday. Um, <clears throat> we didn't really come out on top, but I wasn't really too worried about it. Um, everybody definitely contributed to the game. Um, I was impressed by absolutely everybody. Um, it was our first day outside, so we knew that we were going to have some rough, rough patches, but um, everybody kind of just went with it and was really excited to be out there, and it was it was good. So I'm really excited. And you talk about your first day being outside. Obviously, the preseason hindered by all the weather issues uh, during this spring. But what were the Falcons doing, Megan, to make sure you guys were ready? How did you go about practices not being able to go outside? Um, we have a cage that we set up every day in the gym, and we do constant hitting off of the machine. And we try to utilize our space the best we can. We do ground balls. We try to use both gyms for pitching if we can. So just kind of trying the best to maximize our space and time the best we can. And Nini, as important as all that practice is, off the field, outside the gym, what is this group like to do together? How do you really build that team camaraderie up? Um, well, most of the time it's just pasta parties, runs to Dairy Queen. You know, this team is very, um, it's like family orientated. Like we're just close, close knit. And even though like I'm, I miss out on some of this stuff because I have obviously responsibilities to handle too, but there, there's multiple things that we go out, whether it be eating food or just being like in each other's companies outside of the field and the school. And Britt, outside of this group sitting right here, who are some of those experienced players that have been a part of this family for so long we should keep an eye out for this season? Uh, definitely Molly Reynolds, Luca Holdreed, who uh, were freshmen last year, and um, they are a sophomores again this year, and they're definitely leaders on the team as well already. Um, then there's, uh, we only have two, two more juniors. Uh, three, two or three more juniors, um, Nicole Maggi, Christina Crilly, and Sophia Bukas, who definitely bring a lot of laughter to the team. And everybody just really plays a role. Um, it doesn't really matter how old you are. It's not really an age thing. Everybody's kind of just very close, and um, everybody plays a role. <coughs> All right, girls, we've got some rapid-fire questions for you here we've been asking everyone. The first one is one word to describe this year's team. What would you say? Um, probably together. Um, I just have to say energetic family yeah. the game you're most looking forward to this season which one ward 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 <laughs> you can never go wrong yeah. saying ward that or against west hill that'll be yeah. a good game too of course that state rematch now pre-game meal what do you like to eat to get ready um i mean night before we like to go for a good pasta party I like to do those no i um <laughs> even though coach sherry doesn't like it i go to from mcdonald's you know <laughs> pack on some good calories before i go <laughs> Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, cheese from AJ's. All right. One song to get you pumped up. Who do you want to hear? Um, we like Childish Gambino. He's a team artist we enjoy. So, I'd have to say The Weeknd, Starboy. I'm more of a country music fan, so <laughs> I kind of like uh, the sad songs really get me into it. So my favorite would probably be I Don't Dance. <laughs> All right, well, girls, thank you so much for coming on to the bus today. We want to wish you the best of luck this season. Can't wait to see you and the rest of the Falcons out there on the diamond. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Alongside the girls softball captains at Fairfield Ludlow High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Spring Sports Tour. 
Stay tuned as we roll on through the rest of the conference.